So, Jack, we're coming off uh, going one and one at the Marriott G Classic uh, last weekend. It seems to be you're on a little bit of an offensive uh, foray right now for yourself. And we don't necessarily, when we think of uh, Jack McNeely, that's going to be the case. But it looks like you're feeling a little more comfortable um, in uh, offensive situations. Yeah, I think um, just getting a little bit more confident with the puck and um, just like working on with the coaches about getting up in the play. And uh, yeah, obviously um, it helps like playing with really good players too. And just uh, it's been good just uh, continuing just to gain confidence with the puck and um, making a little bit more plays and stuff. Team wise, obviously we're we're past the halfway point now of the first half of the season, entering the second half here with the University of Alaska coming to town. Uh, maybe if you could. Uh, clarify some of the team goals here in the second half as we work toward uh, the end of the WCHA season and then on to the postseason. Yeah, I think just uh, continuing to grow as a team and uh, get better. I think this weekend we got to focus on getting back to our game. Obviously, uh, last Saturday was uh, a wake-up call for us, so I think just continuing to string some games together here, just focus on um, tomorrow night and just got to play a full 60-minute uh, team game and then go from there. So It is good to be back in uh, Mankato playing here at the rink. And... Um, how important uh, have our crowds been in the success, first half success? Back uh, the last couple of years, our record's unbelievable and playing in our home ice. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, how important the, the, the role that the crowds play in our success here. Yeah, obviously it's been uh, unbelievable the last couple of years. Um, it's huge for us just with uh, momentum and everything, like uh, whatever, just uh, so much fun playing in front of the crowd here, and it's been, uh, it's been awesome, so helps a lot for sure. What do you know about Alaska? And without giving away too much for a game plan, like how, how do you prepare for for that team coming in? Uh, anything that you can take out of last weekend or Sunday's game that uh, kind of gets you ready going forward? Yeah, I think uh, Alaska is going to be obviously a really good test for us. Their uh, their top guys are really skilled, and um, yeah, they play really really hard games. So I think it's going to be a really good test for us. Uh, we're going to have to. Um, play as a five-man unit and play a, as a team and I'm not going to be allowed to take any shifts off so I think just playing a complete game and like I said earlier just learning from the game on Saturday how uh, there's not a lot of parity in college hockey so um, I mean every, every team is going to be really good and it's going to be a really good test for us this weekend. How big a confidence boost was it for you guys to come out and play especially the way you started Sunday's game coming off of that Saturday game seems like you know obviously everyone was so disappointed in what in not just the result but maybe the the, the way things went on Saturday how important was Sunday to to have going you know going forward into the rest of the schedule yeah I think it was a good bounce back for us we had uh, a really good first period I think which was good for us to start the game off the right way and then I think in the third period uh, we had a lot of guys sacrifice their bodies blocking a lot of shots at the end so I think that shows uh, a lot of the character of our team and stuff so it's good for us to kind of get back to playing our game on Sunday.